You've been poisoned with a psychotropic hallucinogen. Hey there guys, how are you? So I'm in the car on my way to go see Batman v Superman, but I'm not alone. I needed a sidekick for this adventure to fight injustice. How are you doing, Chris? What's going on, dude? I'm starting to get pumped. I'm actually yeah. starting to get excited. I am too. Like, it didn't happen until today when I got in the car to drive to your house. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like, for me, like, okay, like, like three days before Force Awakens, I was feeling tingly. But with Batman v Superman, I was starting to get a little bit, I was like, okay, oh, and then when I woke up today, I went, oh, I'm seeing Batman v Superman today. Yeah, the bat nipples get hard. I know mine are right now. That's not the only thing that's hard. <laughs> that's true. Anyway, uh, yeah, dude, uh, we were just listening to the Batman Begins soundtrack. Oh, yes. And I think, speaking of soundtracks, the entire way to your house, probably about 80% of the way, I got into some goth metal the last 20 miles. I just needed it. Uh, I was listening to the Batman v Superman soundtrack by Junkie XL and Hans Zimmer. Mm -hmm. There's some good stuff, but the consistency, the consist the, 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 the consistency, there we did it. Nice. Um, is a little, all, it's, it's off. Yeah, I haven't listened to the whole thing. I've listened yeah. to a few tracks yeah. and what I heard, I, th I have a feeling it's going to be one of those soundtracks that works well in the movie when you're watching it, but that, like, mm -hmm. listening to it, it won't be as fun as, say, like, uh, Elfman's Batman or, or Zimmer's Just Batman. Just upbeat, constant flow, rhythm, because the thing about the new soundtrack, it's like, it has, like, 30 seconds of, like, a cool, like, song. It's, like, legitimate music. And then it's just somber, weird noises with, like, drums sure. for, like, four minutes. Uh, and the new Batman theme... Bum, 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 bum. It's like bum, 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 bum. That's not a theme. That's bum, a, that's, not a theme. <laughs> that's not a theme. You can you compare yeah. that to what we were just listening to in the intro, and it's just yeah, I don't know. Batman, you, you, you got to get tingly all over. But anyway, um, what are your predictions? Uh, we're gonna talk after the movie. Yeah. Uh, we're either gonna be crying or screaming like little girls. Uh, what what are your predictions? Give me a few predictions. Okay, so like. I feel like Batman's gonna be great. I think you and I were just agreeing that yeah. this looked visually like the best on-screen Batman ever. Yeah, it looks straight out of the comics, man. Brought to life. I don't. I Superman will be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Henry Cavill was fine in Man of Steel. Uh, I'm just more concerned about the balancing of the story and, and making it all feel cohesive because, yeah. like, it's look. The action is probably gonna be great. It's gonna be like badass and epic and cool. I'm just more concerned about the story and everything working this time around because they're kind of riding everything on this one. There's a lot going into the, And the thing is, there's so many storylines it feels like they're trying to start within this two and a half hour movie. And it's like, how do you do that without rushing over everything and yeah. giving time to what really matters? It's like, here's Batman and Superman. By the way, Aquaman's over there. So, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious about these cameo scenes. I really, really am. Me too. Um, yeah, I just, I just got to see a good movie. I just need a good Batman movie. <laughs> just give me... Just give me a good fucking Batman movie. Just give me Batman. If, if Batman's yeah. good, okay. If they if they somehow yeah. mess up Batman, then I'll I'll probably be pretty pissed. On a side note, I watched an interview with director Zack Snyder, okay. and he said the original plan was uh, to have the Joker and Riddler as the villains of the movie. Wow. And then they they changed that because they're like, we don't have enough time to do all that, so we need to really focus on Batman and Superman. And I was like, that's okay, good reason. Do you think that's why they took a year? An extra year. Remember how it was going to come out I last think they, year? I think they did a lot of rewrites. I think they... Uh, I think they came to the conclusion they needed more Batman in the movie. Probably. I think that's what went down. Ben Affleck was like, uh, I need more of me. Yeah, well, I think society needs more of him. <laughs> I need more Batman. I know that. Yes. Uh, my, my, my only fear is, okay... Uh, We've seen the trailer that came out a few months ago, the yeah. Doomsday thing. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping that doesn't feel like some just, like, three-second introduction to Doomsday. Oh, yeah. here's Doomsday. We don't know how he came to be, but he's here. We gotta. Like, uh, we need some big monster to fight. Like Venom and Spider-Man. Yeah, thing. please don't do that. Yeah. Please don't do that. Okay, so let's make a few predictions. Do you have any predictions? Any theories? Uh, I'm not good with speculation. I feel like... I feel like... Um, feel like you're cheating yeah I don't Ooh. know I just I, I don't want to make any speculation I, I think I have a feeling maybe Batman will, will kick Superman's ass like I feel like that yeah. might actually happen that, that, that probably will happen I mean like he might yeah. actually win but I mean I don't know it's just one of those things I have a theory okay what's your theory okay 
All right. What is your theory? Are you guys ready? Jonathan? Are you ready? Oh, I am ready. I think Superman dies. That'd be fucking great. And you want to know why I think that? Because I think with the Justice League coming up, you need more of a story arc for the character. He can't just be Superman, the Boy Scout. Plus, introducing Doomsday, there's a reason there. There's a fucking reason for that. Yeah. He needs to kill Superman, and Superman needs to go out on a high note, looking like the hero. That way he proves to Batman, hey, look at me, I'll do anything to save the planet. And mm -hmm. Batman starts respecting him, then it starts out, you know, it starts a good relationship for the Justice That'd League. That'd be ballsy uh, for them to do that. But uh, I think, it would, I think like, it would pay off. I think that's what I want. I, that'd be cool. I, I'd like that. Yeah. So anyway, you, we're at the movie theater. Yeah. We're going to go in. Uh, it's the uh, sneak peek Tuesday night showing. Uh, I'm excited. Are you going to get popcorn? No, I, I just... It gets stuck in there, you know? It gets stuck in the teeth, man. <laughs> Did I tell you about what happened that one time? That's how what I, the ladies say. What? The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a popcorn kernel stuck so far at my teeth that it actually pushed out through the top of my gums. Remember that? The, den <laughs> the, den the dentist oh, had only to... Only you could have had that happen. I know. The dentist actually had to go in and remove it. And I... I'll, so ever since then, I've kind of like... popcorn? I was like, yeah, popcorn is... Uh, How's that Granny's Peach Tea? It's yummy. Is it delicious? Hey, how are you guys doing? We just came out of Batman v Superman. We're outside the theater. I'm here with Chris Duckman. What's up? Craig from ThatMovieGuy.com. All right, I'll put links to that down below. So, all right, quick question. Yes, sir. The big question. What the fuck did you think about Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice? Well, you've seen it twice. This guy's seen it twice. I saw it last night in IMAX. I went to the fan screening. Um, I was very conflicted last night, mm -hmm. seeing it a second time. Noticing certain details, I like it a lot more the second time around. I I wanted to love it a little more than I did. I thought the first half was very discombobulated, but every scene with Batman gave me my money's worth. <laughs> what do you think? I'm a little middle of the road at the moment. I I agree with you. Batman was amazing, mm -hmm. and that's one of the biggest things that most people were kind of skeptical about was Affleck, and I think it's worked out great. I love the look. I love the, the portrayal of the character, except for one specific detail. What's that? That guy is mowing down people left and right. He, and I don't know if I feel that. No guns, no killing, except now. Yeah, I guess. I'll fucking murder you with my machine gun and drive over <laughs> you with my car. And yeah. stabbing. And, yeah. uh, he, he, blo he shoots a guy's fuel tank and blows up. By the way, spoilers, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, spoilers. <laughs> Sorry. I put it in the title of the video. Cool. Yeah, so... What else did you think? What did you guys think about, I mean, everything else? What did you think about Superman in this movie this time around compared to Man of Steel? I like Superman this time more. He was okay. He was all right, I guess. He had more of a hard edge to him. He was he, he taking did. less he shit. He was less of a Boy Scout. Yeah, that's true. I, I think the big thing is with the, the politics of Superman. I okay. mean, if, if we had, like, say, Jesus come to Earth right now with the yeah. lo with the loaves and fishes, yeah. some people would see him as a savior. Yeah. Other people would be like, uh, what's that magic trick you're doing? And be really scared of him. Yeah, I liked the political aspect because he kind of did interject some of that, that Dark Knight Returns in there where Superman works with the government a little bit, becomes like the poster boy and kind of their Boy Scout. So I liked that a little bit, that he was actually working alongside with them. What do you... What else, Superman? Yeah. Well, from a visual perspective, the movie's incredible. Uh, for me, it just felt, kind of felt like two different movies. Yeah. It felt like the first half was like this political thriller uh, with brief appearances from superheroes. And the last yeah. half was just Jack Snyder just like blowing his load and this gigantic superhero <laughs> sci-fi uh, sci extravaganza. And it was awesome. And, and you fun. know what Zack Snyder's load looks like? It looks like a lot of... It looks like Doomsday. Yeah, it looks like Doomsday. With electrical so, sparks flying out of it. And we've got a huge fan of your guys' reviews. Oh, well, Tennessee we're currently Tennessee. filling one. Hey. Oh, oh, you are? Hey, what yeah. do you mean? I mean, you want to join? <laughs> Anybody with a Batman shirt's sure welcome. Sure. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, no, yeah, I, uh... I don't know, both of you, I really like both of you. Oh, really? Thanks, name? man. My name's John. Nice to meet you, John. Hey, I'm John, too, so it's a good name. Good well. name, yeah. Yes. We've heard good things. We've heard good oh, really? Things. Yeah, I know about all good things, <laughs> but yeah. I've shown them a couple. I'll just be like, trust me, they say it's good. Say it's really? yeah. is, uh, is I'm not recognized, of course. <laughs> all right, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, so uh, let's get back to Batman v Superman. Right. Um, we were talking earlier about the cameo scenes. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of cameo scenes thrown in this movie, and they do feel a little bit... Just throwing in your face for five seconds. Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I agree. I agree. Uh, what, what do you think about the cameo scenes? Am I allowed to say the cameo scenes? Because this is spoilers, right? Oh, yeah. well, Why not? Okay. Fuck it. I, the Aquaman reveal was just like. Merman. <laughs> 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 you know? And then it was yeah. cool to see that he can like swim at super speed as, as well as Superman can fly at super speed. I like, yeah, even in the, in the water, it has a, a sound wave. <laughs> like he broke the sonic yeah, boom yeah, underwater. Yeah, water. Did you, but here's my complaint with Jason Momoa coming, the first time you see him, he's like going all slow, like he doesn't look like he knows how to fucking swim. It looks like they filmed it in like a, 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 a 
a pool in Burbank, Hollywood or something. <laughs> it, did. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It just looked like he couldn't swim. What do you think, Chris? I don't know. It just felt kind of like Bruce Wayne sent an email that said like, subject heading Justice League setup. And then they just clicked a whole bunch of files. <laughs> just four us, files, to boom. Let us know. And they even had the logos and everything. And I'm just like, okay, I get it. Like, it's just, hey, here's this. Here's Cyborg Hat. Here's, yeah. here's Flash. Here's this. And it was just, it just felt, it just felt very, it the, felt Amazing Spider-Man 2-ish. It felt a little B-rate. The logos especially. It's like, who took the time? They hired a graphic designer for these, these <laughs> top secret individuals to make a fucking logo for the Flash. Like, think how much creative brainstorming power went into all this shit. I know. Like, think about that. I did like the Flash uh, cameo scene where he... Which one? There's two. Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk about it. Let's yeah. talk about the first one. Yeah. I think the first one's where he time travels right, right. and war warns Bruce Wayne and he has the dream sequence. And it's actually yeah. not a dream. It's not a dream. According to this a, guy, it's not a dream. It's not a Tell dream. Tell me more. It's not a dream. Uh, if you've watched the movie Justice League Flashpoint Paradox, you know that Good Flash knows how to break the sound barrier. My arm's getting tired. That's my jerk off arm. Keep talking. <laughs> keep, keep talking. Keep talking. Um, <laughs> but you know that Flash can break the sound barrier. Yeah. Flash, who's not even wearing a normal Flash, he's wearing an apocalyptic costume. I like that, though. Breaks it through the great. time barrier, yeah. and he's like, Lois is the key. Ooh. And and everything, because Lois is the key. I don't know. It just... It's not that it's not that, that, that I don't understand what you're saying. Like yeah. I get what you're saying, and, and from like a comic perspective, I understand. It just like in the film, it just felt very like oh. Can, you know the reasoning I was that scene, the reasoning yeah. I was giving in the Marvel movies when you've got like the mid credit scene and then the end credit scene. It's like okay, we're gonna set up Ant Man. Oh, now we're gonna set up Doctor Strange. What, what, what Warner Brothers is doing is like, well, let's get rid of the end credits scenes and we're going to sprinkle the breadcrumbs throughout, throughout the movie, the movie okay. and see if you pay attention. And I think right now, because we don't know what the future is, we're not maybe catching them. Okay. But then once the future movies come out, then are like, oh, that's what they were telling me. That's, they would show me this. I, they would show me that. I will say this. I had that flash where he comes through time and warns Bruce Wayne as he's taking a nap at his command center. That could have been an ending credit scene easily right. but I liked how that was almost the motivation for him to get off his ass and actually go against Superman because he right. felt like something had to be done so in that sense I liked that it was actually in the middle of the movie rather than at the end so it felt, felt like it had more payoff um, let's talk about what uh, let's talk about Cyborg's uh, cameo scene uh, that, I thought that was the worst one by far I that, agree that one felt like it was filmed in a garage oh you're gonna hold, thank you yes this feels good my hands are free I'm gonna put them right here though uh, it felt like it was filmed in a garage. I liked how uh, Cyborg's father is actually uh, Miles Dyson from T2 Judgment Day. <laughs> the guy still works in cyber with cybernetic organisms yes. no matter what he does. By the way, that scene. <laughs> um, I knew you were going to do that. Yeah, time. but <laughs> you, yeah, you have Cyborg back there like on a pegboard mm -hmm. and just wires sparking out. Um, what would you guys think? Okay, like I, I think you really said it all. It's literally five seconds of a movie. Yeah. It's five seconds of the movie. It's hey, here's this. It, it, it felt very Amazing Spider-Man two-ish to me. I, I gotta be honest. It felt like the scene where the guy, the shadow guy, is walking by Doc Ock's arms, and then there's Vulture's wings. And by the way, Rhino's at the end. And I guess, they're, but they're not <laughs> even gonna make Sinister yeah. Six now. Yeah. So it's just, it was just pointless. And that's kind of how I felt with this. I mean, I know they're gonna make Justice League, but just, it, it just felt like a shoe in. Just put it in there. Ugh. But it's really no more, no different than what Avengers did with Age of Ultron which is okay let's have the Thor dream sequence exactly and, and that didn't work for me like I the, the yeah. Thor Ragnarok setup correct it felt like Joss Whedon was contractually obligated to put that scene in the movie it and, felt like someone said you have three minutes to set all these cameos up just do it exactly Here, yeah so yeah. Well, I, I will say for insider information about the origin of cyborg uh, without explaining it just watch Justice League War pay attention to that uh, cyborg origin story and you'll get the cameo sequence. Okay, alright. Uh, what else is there? Oh, let's talk about Wonder Woman very quickly. Um, Gal I loved Gadot. her. Oh, wow. Gal Gadot looked great as Wonder Woman. She did. She, she sold me yeah. in the action sequences. Right. Uh, she doesn't say a lot throughout the movie, but she, so she didn't need to. Uh, but she pretty much had the most... The, I guess beside Batman and Superman, she had the, the she biggest had, role. She had the yeah. loudest yeah. crowd response at this screen. I agree. Yeah. I okay. liked her a lot as the character of Wonder yeah. Woman. I thought she looked great. I thought she was well represented. There's a lot of CGI, but it's hard to, to really overcome that. You have to. My only issue is that 
again, it's tough to set up all these characters in one movie, and, and there isn't, it's, she's just kind of, she comes around, she basically, there's like a Catwoman Batman yeah. scene, like in Dark Knight Rises, mm -hmm. where Bruce meets Catwoman in that ball and kind of seduces her. Yeah, It kind of yes. reminded me of that Very in this movie. sexual, very, yeah. yeah and she also, stole, she also stole something, and he wanted it back. She did. Oh. Very similar to Dark Knight Rises. Uh, we'll take turns. Uh, <laughs> it's my jerk off arm. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, now, that's I will how tell you get strong. Yeah. Wonder Woman yeah. reminded me of? Yeah was Thor from the Marvel movies. Because she's like, I've killed oh, alien creatures warrior, before. Yeah. Right. And even when Doomsday throws yeah. her, she even has that, all right, I got a challenge I like now. the battle. Yes. I did like when she first was introduced, like you said, she sure. had her arms crossed. Only yeah. issue I have with that really is that that's basically, the trailer kind of told yeah. us all this. It, I just wish I hadn't seen that trailer. And me and you, like, Ugh. me and you made a trailer reaction to that yeah. shit. Yeah. And we said, the whole movie's there. Is the whole movie there? 95% of it is, except for the final word. Let's just cut to the, let's just get to the end of sure, it. Sure, yeah. Let's get to the end of it. Superman fucking dies, but we know he's not dead. Right. We, because dirt. Dirt because floated at the end. Mullet Superman shall return. Yeah. Oh, he's coming back with a mullet? <laughs> you know what would be great? So. You know what would be great? If in the second one, it just pops out of the coffin and it's Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Superman. Yeah. In long hair. <laughs> wearing a plastic suit. Yeah. Now, what I did love about, you know, Superman dies, but I love that it kind of glimpsed how, like, once again, in the animated movies, when they battle Darkseid, it's every yeah. single hero has to work together at once to do something. I did like that. And this was Wonder Woman had her lariat. Batman had the kryptonite gas grenade, and Superman had the spear, yeah. and it what it, it, it showed them almost like how the Avengers, you know, mm -hmm. oh, we have to work together to beat the bad guys. Is it perhaps the dawn of justice? Hmm. And I'm out. <laughs> Batman was essentially Captain America, uh, and then uh, Doomsday was uh, Abomination. Yeah, so it all of, it yeah. all plays off each other. I thought Doomsday they added every filter they possibly could in that editing program to his effects. Like, okay, we need sparks, red sparks, yellow sparks, <laughs> uh, fucking everything you can throw. Just do it. More CGI. That's probably, no, that's probably yeah. my, my biggest complaint yeah. is in the pri all the setup scenes yeah. with like Gotham and Ma it looked like okay, we're filming it. Yeah. When it came to the Doomsday fight, it was like green screen yeah, world. It was it was just a that's little much. That's kind of what I was yeah. saying. Was it felt like almost like two different movies combined. Like Took the first half was like yeah. super. Yeah. Like fairly realistic, like like here, grounded, grounded yeah. in reality. Here's Somewhere, terrorists. Yeah. Here's uh, Lois Lane being captured by terrorists, and then all of a sudden there was like the Batman nightmare sequence, yes. and it, it, it sort of was like hints. He knows just when it's getting. He tired. was sort of. It was sort of like uh, there were hints. Yeah. Here, I'll do it. I haven't done it yet. Yeah. Here, you fucking hold it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Highest angle yet. Uh, whoa. Recorded? It's Derek. earthquake! Here's the deal. If we say we love it, we're fanboys. Yeah. Right. If we say it's okay, oh, you're just being pretentious. So there, there really is no fair way of saying it. We, that's, I, that's was, tough. I was happy with the majority of what I saw. It's just that certain elements of the script just didn't really mesh for me. I agree. It felt messy and choppy. Entertaining yeah. overall. Uh, real quick, the one thing I just got to talk about before this video ends, we can all give final thoughts. We did talk about Batman fighting fucking Superman, the title of the movie, True. and right. that's the one thing I wanted to see, and I wanted that, uh, I wanted that scene to have justice, no pun intended. <laughs> and it went a little quicker than I thought it would. Yeah. I thought there'd be just a little bit more to mm -hmm. it. Uh, but overall, when Batman finally shot that kryptonite, kryptonite grenade in his face and started kicking his ass, I was like, okay, I like yeah, this. I I'm, agree. I'm happy. I agree. I also love that it wasn't one-sided. That it gave, it let Superman recover a little bit. Mm -hmm. Super, like that scene where he's punching him, yeah. and, he, and Superman's like this, and then his face turns back to steel. Yes. And then Batman's like, you know. He's like, yeah. oh shit. And it's back on. And it went <laughs> it went back and forth like a tennis match. Yeah. And then ultimately, you know. Did you also, I like the fight. Did you, did you also notice, compared to this movie, compared to the graphic novel, you remember how Batman just looks like the complete good guy? This time around, it gave Superman kind of a, a good reasoning for going into action. Like mm -hmm. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm going to fight. Like He had to save his mother by not... Yeah. You know, actually killing him. And it's funny so. because, like, I guess I'm just, I don't think as deep as I should it into some of these things. I never actually made the connection that both of their mother's names are Martha. Me neither. Dude. I, until, I'm sure until you already knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Craig, Craig yeah. was like, I, I, I dreamt about that last night. <laughs> I, dreamt, <laughs> I dreamt about that last night. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean, I don't know. But it worked for me. That was a great way to end it. Um, it just, I don't know. It, it, it's just, I don't know if it's entirely cohesive as a movie. Kind of like, it's kind of my thoughts on Man of Steel, really. And see, and, and, and what you said before about, like, uh, if I like it, I'm a fanboy. If I'm not, that's exactly how it was at last night's IMAX screening. When I left, I was in your shoes, 
And then it was like, you know what? I'm just gonna say what I am. And when I saw it the second time, knowing things and, and observing things, I liked it more the second time. Yeah, that happens a lot uh, with me. Uh, sometimes I'm, with movies I'm really excited about, like you, you have all these expectations, you have all these thoughts and theories, and then once you see what it is, you suddenly have to process that. And then going in again, you know what you're gonna expect. You can kind of like say, okay, I know what I'm gonna get, and I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. That was like me with Force Awakens. That was like me with 10 Cloverfield Lane. I feel like I got everything I expected. And does sure. that mean I expected a perfect movie? No, not even close. Everything with Batman, great. Everything else, entertaining. But it was like 80% setup, 20% payoff. Right. That's, that's just my thing with it. So I'm hoping the future installments, once we got all the, the, the speed bumps out of the way, it's smooth sailing and we'll have more of a cohesive movie. In I the agree. Future. Now, the only thing... If if I know it's and it's I know it's David Ayer doing Suicide Squad, yeah. And we've seen the trailers for that where it's like, okay, here's the Harley, here's the Harley origin, here's this, here's the Joker. Is is that going to play out the way Man of uh, hmm. Batman the uh, Superman is, where it's like they show us this, but then it's really just these little cameos, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's my and fear it, too. Is, is that how it's it's going to be? I hope not. I just hope it has more tie-ins, and I hope Batman actually has. I don't think he will, but I hope he he plays a. a important role in Suicide Squad mm -hmm. besides like three minutes of a cameo scene. Yeah. So. yeah, riding a purple Lamborghini. Yeah. yeah and it's... like maybe one combo with the Joker and yeah. he's gone. Yeah, so uh, anyway guys, that's our quick lazy ass outside the theater talky blah, 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 spoiler <laughs> review. I'm going to go. The purge. Oh god, uh, Ghostbusters. Ah, uh, uh, barbershop. Uh, next cut. Oh no. We'll be I'm looking forward to it. Let's, yeah, re let's was... do a combo review of barbershop. Barbershop I, already I, an A plus in my book. Yes. I, I, we could actually, we actually have press screening for that tomorrow if you want to go. Do we? Yeah. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay, hang on. Let me turn the music off. No, that's good.